Good morning, Matthew. Good morning, everybody. I'm in Fox's Grove at High Ash Farm in Case of Edmund. It's a 30 acre area of woodland, and I'm going to try something new this morning that I've not done before. And here I'm visiting the badger set at High Ash Farm. It's probably one of the largest badger sets in East Anglia. There are over 50 entrances and outside each entrance is a massive, massive pile of soil. Uh, the one in front of me has probably got 20 tons of soil out. It's like a, a mountain and I've just got a little camera in my hand as well as the microphone. There you are. There it is. There's the entrance. There's some low morning sunshine coming through and as I walk across the set we're going to be passing some of the badger entrance and exit holes. It's just a labyrinth of excavation one there almost vertically down i mean i could stand in that to give you an idea the entrance hole is about two and a half feet diameter and this is a time of the year the badgers get very busy and this one is brought got uh, some fresh moved soil out you can see a long trail of soil coming out of the hole another one here a monumental hole <laughs> i could actually get down that one to give you an idea it looks like a mine shaft it's going vertically down for about two meters and then it heads off and all these holes are interlinked another one there right by a, a venerable old scots pine tree they're going almost again vertically down between the roots and some fresh soil brought out there and just going to walk across a, a lower part of the set it's on a sharp hillside here at the farm and uh, lots of sands and gravels which is ideal for the badgers makes it easy easy digging and here is the one of the large holes again again two feet diameter uh, to give you an idea of the scale rat my terrible terrier is just going to walk past and have a look I don't think he'll go down there because there are badgers occupying this. There's probably between 15 and 20 badgers resident at this set. So it's really, really busy at night. All holes are used, but why I've brought us here is I'm going to give you a little treat for tonight. I'm going to leave one of the trail cameras here at the farm. And here it is, if I just bop down and there it is, it's a little trail cam, and this is the view exactly that I'm going to show us um, to see what we get tonight. It's just for 24 hours to show you that not just badgers will be using the holes in the set, but the whole variety of wildlife during the night and during the daytime lots of insects are flying in and out occasionally bats go down there so I said it's a good place on the tree roots for them to actually spend the daytime hours so it's a busy busy place so there's the camera it's all set just turn the button on at the back there we are all done and now it's early morning so that camera won't be touched again until tomorrow morning when I'll come and collect it and then I'll put any videos we get together and uh, see if we can make a tiny film to show you how busy just one of the entrance holes is of these 50 holes in this area of sandy gravelly woodland the home of the badgers the original earth excavators it is an amazing sight to see all these holes it's just terrific I, I couldn't compete with a spade although I'm a good digger <laughs> digging post holes that my father taught me to do I can't compete with the badgers there we are uh, so away we go back to the farm now do some proper work and we'll see what we can capture tonight in the nicest possible way because nobody will know they're being filmed <laughs> fingers crossed that we get lucky there, another huge hole there oh goodness <laughs> absolutely incredible the carrion crows are calling above my head they're complaining there's been a jay in the background while i've been talking as well busy time in the area in the area of woodland here 
and uh, just as I came in the green woodpecker was calling away and just look at this lovely shaft of sunlight coming through the trees oh that's an amazing sight uh, just slightly misty this morning and we got some sunbeams coming through just an absolutely terrific sight beautiful 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 Norfolk in autumn Matthew, I'm in the farm office now. I like this sort of farming and I'm watching last night's video and just exciting to see all the animals that are going to come here. I've had a quick preview and we're starting off with a rabbit right outside the badger set. Now, all of a sudden, a mouse arrived. It's a long-tailed field mouse. Top fodder for the woodlands tawny owls. And it's going down into the badger set, would you believe? <laughs> I've already seen a bat flying in there. Pips is trail back, flying in and going underground. And there we are. Another long-tailed field mouse has just arrived. Wow. So the, there's a little video for us all to be able to watch once I've finished this little commentary. I've never done this before. I feel rather like David Attenborough. <laughs> it's just amazing. Now, we're into daylight. It's just coming into dusk and a grey squirrel has arrived. Sunshine just coming through the trees. And would you believe it's brought an acorn in and it's burying that acorn in the side of the badger set here at the farm absolutely fantastic site. Yes, everybody's pest, but um, they can sort of bury and cache acorns and sweet chestnut this time of the year. Another one's just come in and it's digging in right beside the badger hole. <laughs> and it's got an acorn in its mouth and it's dug quite a deep hole, about two inches deep. And it's put the acorn in, there it goes, nudging it in with its nose. And it's now covering the hole back up. There we are. So they're not quite the pests that they make out. And now we're into darkness. And a fox has just arrived and it's sniffing round right where that squirrel buried the acorn. And oh, it's just having a look round. And what's it going to, it's, is it going to? It has gone down <laughs> into the badger set hole. <laughs> and another one's now arrived as well. Goodness me, and it's sniffing around exactly where that fox has gone in. That's possibly a vixen that's gone down in the hole. And this is a dog fox. Real huge bushy tail, bright eyes, black feet and backs of ears as well. And then the vixen's just come out. It's three and a half hours later and she's shaken the sand off her coat. And what have we got? We got our first badger just come out of the hole and I think this one's going to say I'd quite like to be on television and it's sniffing the camera close up oh no a little bit too much lights camera action <laughs> and another badger has just arrived as well and is sniffing around the set and that's what they do when they emerge in early evening too and this one's just gone back is it going to go back down into the set and another one's arrived we've got two badgers of the 15 to 16 badgers that are at the set the cameras are always there to entertain me and for security for the badgers and they're both sniffing around the set before they go off and eat chestnuts sweet chestnuts which are falling off the trees and worms as well and slugs and if they find a hornet's nest or a wasp nest out on the farm that would be perfect oh dear what have we got here rat has just arrived to help me pick the camera up and he's sniffing round exactly where those foxes were last night yeah there he is if you've not seen rat before now's your opportunity you can see he's got trouble written all over his face he's tattooed trouble i should have called him <laughs> and there's all that lovely sandy gravel of uh, the farm here that the badgers have dug out absolutely stunning sight uh, at the set there so there we are little treat for you there, I've not done this before, and you can see all the woodland, the natural woodland, and the massive amount of soil that those badgers have excavated from deep underground. As I said, it's a labyrinth. <laughs> 